The rematch in Connecticut's race for governor officially kicked off tonight. That first debate between Democratic Governor Dana Malloy and Republican challenger Tom Foley, it just wrapped up. News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis was at tonight's debate in Norwich. Let's go, Tom! Let's go! Supporters of Republican Tom Foley lined up early tonight, united in the Republican belief that Foley's near miss four years ago and Governor Malloy's low approval numbers will translate into a Republican victory this time. But the Democrats know that their much higher voter registration numbers, coupled with ads describing Foley as a heartless businessman, could tilt the election their way this fall. The two men spent a good deal of time talking about the gun law passed in the aftermath of the shooting at Sandy Hook, an issue that is expected to play a crucial role in the campaign. What we've done is made Connecticut safer. Uh, and I can point to real statistics, Tom. Uh, crime is down, 45-year low. Homicides are down. Only the fourth time in 45 years that homicides have been less than 100, and they were 83. I don't think we are safer based on the bill that he passed. And in passing this bill, I don't know what his motive was for overreaching. This was so overreaching uh, that it went way, way beyond what would have been, a, I believe, an appropriate response to Newtown. And Foley says Malloy has failed to address the state's principal problem. Under Governor Malloy, he's failed to do anything about uh, state spending, so it's skyrocketing. Uh, it's gone up 16 percent while he's been governor, or over $3 billion. In point of fact, spending under my administration of state dollars is going up far slower than John Rowland, who you supported, or Governor Rell, who you supported. This was the first of what's expected to be at least seven debates, and combined with all the television advertising, you'll be seeing and hearing about this race almost constantly for the next 10 weeks. In Norwich, Mark Davis, News 8.